Keratin is a family of fibrous structural proteins. Keratin is the key structural material making up the outer layer of human skin. It is also the key structural component of hair and nails. Keratin monomers assemble into bundles to form intermediate filaments, which are tough and insoluble and form strong unmineralized tissues found in reptiles, birds, amphibians, and mammals. The only other biological matter known to approximate the toughness of keratinized tissue is chitin. Etymology Keratin derives from Greek iii plus or minus iii from Greek kiras meaning horn originating from the Proto Indo European a plus or minus er of the same meaning. Its Greek root is composed of horn like, that is, kerato to which the chemical suffix in is appended. Keratin filaments are abundant in keratinocytes in the cornified layer of the epidermis. These are cells which have undergone keratinization. In addition, keratin filaments are present in epithelial cells in general. For example, mouse thymic epithelial cells are known to react with antibodies for keratin-5, keratin-8, and keratin-14. These antibodies are used as fluorescent markers to distinguish subsets of TECs in genetic studies of the thymus. The I plus or minus keratins in the hair, horns, nails, claws and hooves of mammals, the harder I squared keratins found in nails and in the scales and claws of reptiles, their shells, and in the feathers, beaks, claws of birds and quills of porcupines. The baleen plates of filter feeding whales are made of keratin. Keratins are polymers of type 3 and type 4 intermediate filaments, which have only been found in the genomes of chordates. Nematodes and many other non-chordate animals seem to only have type 6 intermediate filaments, lamins, which have a long rod domain. Structural details The first sequences of keratins were determined by Hanyu Koglu and Fuchs. These sequences revealed that there are two distinct but homologous keratin families which were named as type I keratin and type II keratins. By analysis of the primary structures of these keratins and other intermediate filament proteins, Hanyu Koglu and Fuchs suggested a model that keratins and intermediate filaments proteins contain a central 310 residue domain with four segments in I plus or minus helical conformation that are separated by three short linker segments predicted to be in beta turn conformation. This model has been confirmed by the determination of the crystal structure of a helical domain of keratins. Fibrous keratin molecules supercoil to form a very stable, left-handed superhelical motif to multimerize, forming filaments consisting of multiple copies of the keratin monomer. The major force that keeps the coiled coil structure is hydrophobic interactions between apolar residues along the keratin's helical segments. Limited interior space is the reason why the triple helix of the structural protein collagen, found in skin, cartilage and bone, likewise has a high percentage of glycine. The connective tissue protein elastin also has a high percentage of both glycine and alanine. Silk fibroin, considered AI squared keratin, can have these two as 75 a euro 80% of the total, with 10 a euro 15% serene, with the rest having bulky side groups. The chains are antiparallel, with an alternating CAN orientation. A preponderance of amino acids with small, Known reactive site groups is characteristic for structural proteins, for which H-bonded close packing is more important than chemical specificity. Disulfide bridges, in addition to intra- and intermolecular hydrogen bonds, keratins have large amounts of the sulfur-containing amino acid cysteine, required for the disulfide bridges that confer additional strength and rigidity by permanent, thermally stable cross-line king euro roll sulfur bridges also play in vulcanized rubber. Human hair is approximately 14% cysteine. The pungent smells of burning hair and rubber are due to the sulfur compounds formed. Extensive disulfide bonding contributes to the insolubility of keratins, except in dissociating or reducing agents. The more flexible and elastic keratins of hair have fewer interchain disulfide bridges than the keratins in mammalian fingernails, hooves and claws which are harder and more like their analogues in other vertebrate classes. Hair and other I plus or minus keratins consist of I plus or minus helically coiled single protein strands, which are then further twisted into superhelical ropes that may be further coiled. The I squared keratins of reptiles and birds have I squared pleated sheets twisted together, 
then stabilized and hardened by disulfide bridges. Filament formation It was theorized that keratins are combined into hard and soft, or cytokeratins and other keratins. That model is now understood to be correct. A new nuclear addition in 2006 to describe keratins takes this into account. Keratin filaments are intermediate filaments. Like all intermediate filaments, keratin proteins form filamentous polymers in a series of assembly steps beginning with dimerization. Dimers assemble into tetramers and octamers and eventually, if the current hypothesis holds, into unit length filaments capable of annealing end to end into long filaments. Pairing the entries KRT23, KRT24, KRT25, KRT26, KRT27, KRT28, KRT31, KRT32, KRT33A, KRT33B, KRT34, KRT35, KRT36, KRT37, KRT38, KRT39, KRT40, KRT-71, KRT-72, KRT-73, KRT-74, KRT-75, KRT-76, KRT-77, KRT-78, KRT-79, KRT-8, KRT-80, KRT-81, KRT-82, KRT-83, KRT-84, KRT-85 and KRT-86 have been used to describe keratins past 20. Cornification Cornification is the process of forming an epidermal barrier in stratified squamous epithelial tissue. At the cellular level, cornification is characterized by production of keratin, production of small proline-rich proteins and transglutaminous which eventually form a cornified cell envelope beneath the plasma membrane, terminal differentiation, loss of nuclei and organelles, in the final stages of cornification, metabolism ceases, and the cells are almost completely filled by keratin. During the process of epithelial differentiation, cells become cornified as keratin protein is incorporated into longer keratin intermediate filaments. Eventually the nucleus and cytoplasmic organelles disappear, metabolism ceases and cells undergo a programmed death as they become fully keratinized. In many other cell types, such as cells of the dermis, keratin filaments and other intermediate filaments function as part of the cytoskeleton to mechanically stabilize the cell against physical stress. It does this through connections to desmosomes, cell-cell junctional plaques, and hemidesmosomes, cell basement membrane adhesive structures. Cells in the epidermis contain a structural matrix of keratin, which makes this outermost layer of the skin almost waterproof and along with collagen and elastin, give skin its strength. Rubbing and pressure cause thickening of the outer, cornified layer of the epidermis in form protective calluses are euro useful for athletes and on the fingertips of musicians who play stringed instruments. Keratinized epidermal cells are constantly shed and replaced. These hard, integumentary structures are formed by intercellular cementing of fibers formed from the dead cornified cells generated by specialized beds deep within the skin. Hair grows continuously and feathers molt and regenerate. The constituent proteins may be phylogenetically homologous but differ somewhat in chemical structure and supramolecular organization. The evolutionary relationships are complex and only partially known. Multiple genes have been identified for the I-squared keratins in feathers, and this is probably characteristic of all keratins. Silk, the silk fibroins produced by insects and spiders are often classified as keratins, though it is unclear whether they are phylogenetically related to vertebrate keratins. Silk found in insect pea, and in spiderwebs and egg casings, also has twisted I-squared pleated sheets incorporated into fibers wound into larger supermolecular aggregates. The structure of the spinnerets on Spidersa Euro unregistered trademark tails, and the contributions of their interior glands, provide remarkable control of fast extrusion. Spider silk is typically about 1 to 2 micrometers thick, compared with about 60 AA micrometer for human hair, and more for some mammals. The biologically and commercially useful properties of silk fibers depend on the organization of multiple adjacent protein chains into hard, 
crystalline regions of varying size, alternating with flexible, amorphous regions where the chains are randomly coiled. A somewhat analogous situation occurs with synthetic polymers such as nylon, developed as a silk substitute. Silk from the hornet cocoon contains doublets about 10 AA micrometer across, with cores and coating, and may be arranged in up to 10 layers. Also in plaques of variable shape. Adult hornets also use silk as a glue, as do spiders. Clinical significance Some infectious fungi, such as those that cause athlete's foot and ringworm, or Batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, feed on keratin. Diseases caused by mutations in the keratin genes include Epidermolysis bullosa simplex, Ichthyosis bullosa of Siemens, Epidermolytic hyperkeratosis, Steatosis doma multiplex. Keratosis fringis, rhabdoid cell formation in large cell lung carcinoma with rhabdoid phenotype. Furthermore, keratin expression is helpful in determining epithelial origin in anaplastic cancers. Tumors that express keratin include carcinomas, thymomas, sarcomas, and trophoblastic neoplasms. Furthermore, the precise expression pattern of keratin subtypes allows prediction of the origin of the primary tumor when assessing metastases. For example, hepatocellular carcinomas typically express K8 and K18, and cholangiocarcinomas express K7, K8 and K18, while metastases of colorectal carcinomas express K20, but not K7. Cosmetic uses Hydrolyzed keratin has become a common cosmetic ingredient. Studies have shown topical application of hydrolyzed keratin gives significant increases in skin elasticity and hydration. Due to its moisturizing properties, hydrolyzed keratin has also been incorporated into shampoo and conditioner. Larger keratin structures such as those formed by cornification cannot penetrate the skin so cannot be used as moisturizers. However there are other uses, from hair loss concealing products using fine hair fibers to hair thickening accessories like hair extensions. See also, list of cutaneous conditions caused by mutations in keratins. List of keratins expressed in the human integumentary system, references. External links, composition and I squared sheet structure of silk, hair-science.com's entry on the microscopic elements of hair, Proteopedia page on keratins.